जय राजा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राजा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जान बाला गिरी गोपी जान बाला गिरी बरजारी यशोदनंदन प्रज जन यशोदनंदन प्रज जन यमुन तेरा वन यमुन तेरा वन चारी जय राजा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राजा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जान बाला गोपी जान बाला बागिरी बरसारी यशोद नंदन प्रज जन यशोद नंदन प्रज जन यमुन तेरा भन चारी यमुन तेरा भन चारी हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे
Nitai Gaur Hari Bo Hari Bo Hari Bo Nitai Gaur Hari Bo Jai Jai Prabhu Pa Prabhu Pa Prabhu Pa Jai Jai Prabhu Pa God Premanande Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 we're reading Bhagavad Gita as it is, chapter 14, text number 17. On the board here, right? Sadvat Sanjayate Gyanam Rajasoloba Evacha Rajasoloba Evacha Pramada Moho Tamaso Pramada Moho Tamaso Babato Gyana Mevacha Babato Gyana Mevacha Sadvat Sanjayate Gyanam Sadvat Sanjayate Gyanam Rajaso Loba Evacha Ramada Moho Tamaso Babato Gyana Mevacha Sadvat Sanjayate Gyanam Rajaso Loba Evacha Ramada Mohao Tamasau Babato Gyana Mevacha Anybody else?
Sadvat from the mode of goodness, Sanjayate develops Jnanam knowledge, Rajasa from the mode of passion. <laughs> from the mode of passion, Loba, greed, Cha. Certainly, Certainly. Eva. Eva, also, also. Oh. Pra Pravadat, Pramada, madness, madness. Moho. Moho, and illusion, and illusion. Tamasa. Tamasa, from the mode of ignorance, the mode of ignorance. Bhavata. Bhavata, develops. Ajna, huh? Ajnanam. 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 Ignorant. Nations. Eva. Certainly. Cha. Also. Translation From the mode of goodness, real knowledge develops. From the mode of passion, greed develops, and from the mode of ignorance, develop foolishness, madness, and illusion. You want to read the purple? Sattva gunati lirindi, unmai jnanam vritti agradi, ajo gunati lirindi, pera se vritti agradi, melum tamo gunati lirindi, muttal tanam. Let me see your phone. Let me see your phone. You can... Oh, you haven't got the phone that makes bigger, have you? This can't, can't make the type bigger, eh? Yeah. Let me, let me open the brightness. Okay, yeah, that would be good. Okay, purport by Srila Prabhupada. Since the present civilization is not very congenial to the living entities, Krishna consciousness is recommended. Through Krishna consciousness, society will develop the mode of goodness. When the mode of goodness is developed, people will see things as they are in the mode of ignorance. People are just like animals and cannot see things clearly. In the mode of ignorance, for example, they do not see that by killing one animal they are taking the chance of being killed by the same animal in the next life. Because people have no education, because people have no education in actual knowledge, they become irresponsible. To stop this irresponsible education for developing the mode of goodness of the people in general must be there. When they are actually educated in the mode of goodness, they will become sober in full knowledge of things as they are. Then people will be happy and prosperous even if the majority of the people aren't happy and prosperous. If a certain percentage of the population develop Krishna consciousness and become situated and become situated in the mode of goodness, then there is a possibility for peace and prosperity all over the world. Otherwise, if the world is devoted to the modes of passion and ignorance, 
there can be no peace or prosperity. In the mode of passion people become greedy and their hankering for sense enjoyment has no limit. One can see that even if one has enough money and adequate arrangement for sense gratification, there is neither the happiness nor peace of mind that is, that is not possible because one is situated in the mode of passion. If one wants happiness at all, his money will not help him. He has to elevate himself to the mode of goodness by practicing Krishna consciousness. When one is engaged, when one is engaged in the mode of passion, not only is he mentally unhappy but his profession and occupation are also very troublesome. He has to devise so many plans and schemes to acquire enough money to maintain his status quo. This is all miserable. In the mode of ignorance people become mad being distressed by the circumstances. They take shelter of intoxication and thus they sink further into ignorance. Their future in life is very dark. You want to read? Matibedanda Purun Rain, Tarpodiya Nagarigam, Girvari Galati, Vigavun Sadaka Matadaga Padal, Krishna Munarvi Parimbrika Padimbri, Krishna Munarvin Mulamaga, Samudayam, Sattva Gunate, Vratu Kola Mudyum, Sattva Gunam Balachyadayam Bodhi. விஷயங்களை மக்கள் உள்ளது உள்ளபடி காண்பர் தமோ குணத்தில் இருக்கும் மக்கள் மிருகங்களை போன்றவர்கள் எதையும் தெளிவாக காண இயலாதவர்கள் உதாரணமாக ஒரு மிருகத்தை கொள்வதால் அதே மிருகத்தின் மறுபிறவியில் தான் கொல்லப்படுவதற்கான வாய்ப்பினை ஏற்பதை தமோ குணத்தில் இருக்கும் மக்கள் காண்பதில்லை உண்மையான ஞானத்தை பற்றி கல்வி மக்களிடம் இல்லாததால் அவர்கள் பொறுப்பற்றவர்களாக விடுகின்றனர் இத்தகு பொறுப்பற்ற தன்மையை நிறுத்த பொதுமக்களின் மத்தியில் சத்துவ குணத்தை வளர்ப்பதற்கான கல்வி அவசியம் சத்துவ குணத்தின் உண்மையான கல்வி அவர்கள் பெறும்போது பூரண ஞானத்தை பெற்று விஷயங்களை உண்மையான உண்மையாக அறியும் அறிவா அறிவாளிகளாகின்றனர் பிறகு மக்கள் மகிழ்ச்சியுடன் வளமான வளமாக இருப்பர் அத்தகு மக்கள் பெரும்பாலும் சரி மக்கள் தொகையில் ஒரு குறிப்பிட்ட பங்கினர் கிருஷ்ண உணர்வை வளர்த்துக் கொண்டு சத்துவ குணத்தில் நிலை பெற்றால் உலகெங்கிலும் அமைதிக்கும் வளமைக்கும் வாய்ப்புள்ளது இவ்வாறின்றி ரஜோ குணத்திற்கும் தமோ குணத்திற்கும் உலகம் தன்னை அர்ப்பணித்து இருந்தால் அமைதியோ வளமோ இருக்க முடியாது ரஜோ குணத்தில் மக்கள் பேராசை உடையவர்களாகின்றனர் புலான் நின்பத்திற்கான அவர்களது ஏக்கத்திற்கு எல்லை இல்லை புலநுகர்ச்சிக்கு தேவையான வசதிகள் அதற்கு வேண்டிய பணமும் ஒருவரிடம் இருந்தாலும் கூட மகிழ்ச்சியோ மன அமைதியோ அங்கு இல்லை என்பதை யாராலும் காண முடியும் அவை சாத்தியம் மாணவதில் சாத்தியம் மாவதில்லை ஏனெனில் அவன் ரஜோ குணத்தில் உள்ளான் ஒருவனுக்கு மகிழ்ச்சி வேண்டுமெனில் அவனது பணம் அவனுக்கு உதவாது கிருஷ்ண உணரை பயிற்சி செய்து அவன் சத்துவ குணத்திற்கு தன்னை உயர்த்தி கொள்ள வேண்டும் ரஜோ குணத்தில் ஈடுபட்டு இருக்கும் போது ஒருவனது மனம் மகிழ்ச்சியின்றி இருப்பது மட்டுமல்ல அவனது தொழிலிலும் வேலையிலும் கூட மிகவும் சிரமமானவை தனது நிலையை தக்க வைத்துக் கொள்ள அவன் பல்வேறு திட்டங்களை வழி வழிமுறைகளையும் கண்டுபிடித்து போதுமான அளவு பணத்தை சேகரிக்க வேண்டும் இவையெல்லாம் துன்பமானவை சமூக குணத்தில் மகிழ்ச்சி பைத்தியமாகி விடுகின்றனர் தங்களது சூழ்நிலைகளால் வருத்தமு வருத்தமுற்று அவர்கள் போதைப் பொருட்களிடம் அடைக்கலம் பெறுகின்றனர் இவ்வாறு மென்மேலும் அறியாமையில் மூழ்குகின்றனர் இவர்களது எதிர்காலம் மிகவும் இருளானது 
Oma Gyana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militanjena Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama Shri Chaitanya Mano Bistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupakadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yatapada Kamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavamsya Shri Rupam Sakrajatam Sahagana Raganatan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakanitamsya He Krishna Karana Sindhu Dhinna Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gorange Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kaupata Rubyasya Kripa Sindhu Vaye Vacha Patita Nam Pavane Vyo Vaishnavi Vyo Namo Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shrimati Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Namine Namaste Sarasati Devi Ghoravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Paschacha Deshatarine Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavanda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare So we're reading chapter 14 of the Bhagavad Gita. Lord Krishna is describing about the modes of nature, the three modes of nature, goodness, passion and ignorance. So the three modes of nature are like three colors. Just like when you paint, if you have three colors, the, if you have the red and the blue and the yellow, then you can make any other color you want by mixing different. All right, are you an artist? You good painter? No? You good painter? Yeah? So you know, you mix the colors, right? Mix red and yellow, what do you get? What color? Orange. <laughs> Maybe? Green. Yeah. Red and yellow, yeah. No. Red and yellow. Anyway, <laughs> let's not argue about it, right? But all of us, we're all combinations of these different colors. Some people have more yellow color, more good. Some people have more yellow color, more good. 
And some people have more red color, fashion. And the blue color is more the mode of tamas, the ignorant mode. So the modes of nature are in everything, everywhere. Just like you live here in Nabongtabal, this is a nice country place, quiet place. It's different from living in Kuala Lumpur. So the big city, that's a place of passion. But here you're more in the more of goodness here. And if you live in the bar or if you live in the casino, that's a mode of ignorance. And then food is also different. Some, some food will be more of the mode of goodness. You know, when we, of course, prasadam is transcendental. But the mode of food and the mode of goodness will be the food which is fresh and healthy. But food which has a lot of spices, it's very hot, very, you know, chilly, a lot of chilies, that will be more in the mode of passion. And, the f and some food is the mode of ignorance. Animal flesh, fish, these kind of eggs, these are all the mode of ignorance. But food like fruit and milk, that's more the mode of goodness. Coconut, <laughs> yeah. these, these things, nature, they give gifts of nature, they're the mode of goodness. But if you kill the animals, you, have the, you, you eat the meat and the fit, the, all that's the mode of ignorance. So Lord Krishna is describing the result of activities in these different modes. So the result of things in the mode of goodness, if you do something in the mode of goodness, the result is you get knowledge and also happiness. Right? Yeah, but you have to do things in the mode of goodness. What is in the mode of goodness? Read the book. All right. Go for a morning walk. Bathing regularly every day. Being a vegetarian, that's all in the mode of goodness. 
and you do these things, you get knowledge and you'll be happy. But the result of doing things in the mode of passion, the mode of rajas, it, it's suffering. Of course, people today, they think passion is good. They think, oh no, passion, very nice. I was in one mall somewhere in Kuala Lumpur in the mall, I saw written on the restaurant window, outside on the window it said, come and taste the passion. <laughs> No, oh, it must have been some very, very hot Kalambo or Kurma or something they were serving, right? But people like that passion, they think, oh, passion, I like the passion, I like the passion, hot food, yeah. You like hot food? Yeah. But you eat too much of the hot food, what you, you, you get gastric, you get problem, health problem. Even we have some devotees, they have the gastric problem because they eat too much spicy food. But people think, no, passion is good, we enjoy passion. If you, even they advertise a motor car, they say, get behind the wheel, drive this car, feel the passion. <laughs> or the motorbike, you get on the motorbike and you can feel the passion as you accelerate. <laughs> We're thinking, oh, fun, oh, passion, we are enjoying. And then, boom, you have an accident, you fall off, you break your leg. Then you have to go to hospital and you cannot, oh, so much pain and suffering. So Bhagavad Gita is warning us, the mode of passion, the result of the mode of passion, distress. Just like the young man with the young woman together, they feel passion. And they're thinking, Oh, we're enjoying together. And then they start fighting with each other and arguing and screaming. So, in the beginning, so much pleasure, but quickly changes. So, 
So there's different kinds of happiness. There's happiness in the goodness, happiness in passion, happiness <coughs> Happiness in ignorance. The man is drinking alcohol, he's thinking, wow, oh, very nice, oh, give me more beer. They are taking the drugs and they are thinking, yeah, we are enjoying ecstasy. <laughs> they even have the drug, ecstasy. And the young people will buy it and they think, I'm feeling ecstasy. And then they're suffering so much. Then their life is misery, all the pain and the problems which come. The policeman comes and arrests them, take them to jail. Mm, or, uh, he gets, uh, he gets uh, all his money stolen by other people. And he gets so many hang-ups because he became addicted to the drugs, he cannot live without them. So that is the mode of ignorance. Then happiness in the mode of passion, in the beginning, very good, we're enjoying, happy, but very quickly becomes miso, big changes. Mm. But happiness in the mode of goodness, in the beginning it's difficult. In the beginning you don't feel so much happiness. There's a saying in Chinese, Wan Shi Kai Tou Nan. Wan Shi Kai Tou Nan. Everything is difficult in the beginning. Just like chanting Hare Krishna, difficult in the beginning. Or waking up earlier in the morning, difficult. But gradually, gradually becomes easier and you begin to enjoy. We enjoy chanting Hare Krishna, we take pleasure in it. It's a lot of fun to chant Hare Krishna. Gives pleasure to the soul. Real happiness is to get pleasure from the soul, not the body. So how to please the soul? We have to connect it to Krishna, then we will feel the pleasure. In 
So yoga is to link, to connect. We want to connect our soul to Krishna. So we do it by chanting the holy name and by serving Krishna, by doing the worshipping Krishna in the temple, reading Bhagavad Gita. And waking up in the morning is difficult in the beginning, but once you start to do it, gradually you like it, you enjoy more in the morning. At night what people do at night, people are all in the mode of ignorance, they're all doing nonsense things. <coughs> They're watching Tamil movies all night. And then they wake up in the morning with a headache and feel bad. But if you, if you wake up early in the morning and chant Hare Krishna, you feel good. Go to temple, come to temple in the morning, see Krishna, see the deity, chant Hare Krishna, your day will be auspicious. You have a good but if you stay up all night watching Tamil movies and wake up very late in the morning, then you just feel miserable all day, you don't feel good. So we are encouraging everyone. Try to cultivate the mode of goodness, come up to the mode of goodness and you will get real pleasure, real happiness. Mode of goodness means to keep everything nice and neat and clean and not to accumulate more things than what we need. Don't keep a lot of clothes, you know, people like to have so many clothes, they buy clothes all the time, so many clothes, they never wear them, they keep them. Then you have so many books as well, you never read them. <laughs> and then you have so many shoes, how many shoes you can wear? Yeah. I went into one person's house, I was surprised, I thought I was in a shoe shop. <laughs> <laughs> so many shoes. Oh, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Why could keep so many? How many shoes you can have at one time? Huh? And of course, women, they all have their handbags, they have so many handbags. <laughs> So try to live simple, keep everything simple, don't accumulate more than what we need. Mm. People 
in order to get all these things, they work very hard, they'll go, they'll get the jobs, working all the time, making money. One job not enough. One job in the daytime, another job at night, and a different job on the weekend. Why working so hard? To get money. <laughs> and what are you going to do with the money? Buy more clothes, <laughs> buy more shoes. <laughs> so many things we want to buy, right, for the body, take care for the body. But the body is not the real person, the body is only the dress. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Vachamsi jirnani yata vihaya navani grenati naroparani tata sharirani vihaya jirnani anyani samyati navani jehi you know? So just like we change the dress, we change also the body. We're taking care for the body, but still the body gets old and it will break down one day. So just, just like the dress, just right, like your clothes, your clothes also, they're not always new, they get older and you like to have new clothes, right? We get new dresses, new clothes, new makeup, new things for the body. The body, you spend all your time and money on the body. Mm. Buying clothes for the body, going to hospital, see the doctor about the body. Then have to go to dentist, see doc, see dentist, get the teeth fixed. Then eye problem, need to get the glasses. And then the hair, we want the hair, nice hair. No, no. The hair is straight, oh no, I want curly hair. <laughs> and somebody's got curly hair, they want straight hair. <laughs> mm, somebody's got, got blue eyes, they want they want other color of eyes. So, so many things we try to make adjustment for the body. Somebody is too fat, they want to become thin. Somebody is thin, they want to become fatter. 
ஆகவே நாம் திருப்தி அடையாமல் அவர்களை போன்றும் இவர்களை போன்றும் நம்மளை மாற்றிக் கொள்ளும் கொள்ள முயற்சி செய்கின்றோம் We would spend all the time thinking about the body. And nobody thinks about it. They are not taking it. Yeah. Just like the body. One of them is the body of the body. அந்த கணவரின் சூழ்நிலையிலிருந்து விடுபடு விடுபடுவதற்கு அவர் ஒரு பறவையை வளர்த்தார் அந்த பறவை எப்போதுமே பாடிக்கொண்டிருக்கும் என்று நினைத்து இந்த பறவையை வைத்திருந்தார் ஆகவே இந்த கூண்டில் வைத்திருந்த பறவைக்கு அவர் சாப்பாடு கொடுத்தார் கண்ணாடி வைத்திருந்தார் நிறைய பொருட்களை வைத்து அந்த 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 கூண்டை வந்து அழகுபடுத்தினார் அண்ட் எவ்ரி டே ஷீஸ் கிளீனிங் த கேஜ் கீப் த கேஜ் நைஸ் அண்ட் கிளீன் அந்த தினமும் அவர் அந்த கூண்டை சுத்தப்படுத்தி கொண்டிருந்தார் பட் தென் ஒன் டே ஷீ சா பர்ட் வாஸ் டெட் ஆனால் ஒரு நாள் அவர் கண்டார் அந்த பறவை இறந்து விட்டது ரைட் வை டி தி பர்ட் டை ஏன் அந்த பறவை இறந்தது Yes why did the bird die? Huh? No No food, no water. No food. They, she had the nice cage, but she never gave any food for the bird. அந்த குரு மகாராஜ் கேள்வி என்னவென்றால் ஏன் இந்த சூழ்நிலை ஏன் அந்த பறவை இறந்தது? அதற்கு காரணம் அவர் அந்த கூண்டை மட்டும் நினைத்துக் கொண்டிருந்தார் அதை சுத்தப்படுத்திக் கொண்டு அதை அழகுபடுத்திக் கொண்டு மட்டும் இருந்தால் பத்தாது அந்த பறவைக்கு வேண்டிய முக்கியமான உணவு தண்ணீர் கொடுக்க அவர் மறந்து விட்டார் So same way we take the body we taking care of the body paint the face nice comb the hair put the nice dress everything but we never do anything for the soul அது போலவே நாம் இந்த உடலுக்கு அதிகமான நேரத்தை விரயம் செய்கின்றோம் நமது அழகப்படுத்துகின்றோம் எல்லா வகையான செயல்களில் ஈடுபடுகின்றோம் ஆனால் இந்த ஆத்மாவுக்கு நாம் என்ன செய்ய வேண்டும் என்பதை நாம் புரிந்து கொள்ளாமல் வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கின்றோம் ஆகவே இந்த ஆத்மாவுக்கு நாம் செய்யக்கூடிய கூடிய வேலை என்னவென்றால் And that car is not going to make you happy. What is going to make you happy? The real happiness is in, within, from the soul. You have to chant the Hare Krishna mantra to be happy. All of the things of the world will not make you happy. There's an example, Dhruva Maharaj. He was a young boy. He wanted a kingdom. He wanted to be a powerful king. Dhruva Maharaj, he was a young boy. He wanted a kingdom. ஒரு பெரிய அரசராக வேண்டும் என்று திட்டம் தீட்டி வந்தார் so he went to forest and he did tapasya for 6 months அவர் காட்டிற்கு வனத்திற்கு சென்று 6 மாதம் தவம் இருந்தார் and then krishna came to see him பிறகு கிருஷ்ணர் வந்து அவருக்கு தரிசனம் வழங்கினார் and when krishna came to see him he said i don't want a kingdom anymore ஆகவே கிருஷ்ணரை பார்த்த பிறகு எனக்கு இந்த ராஜ்யம் தேவையில்லை என்று கூறிவிட்டார் ஐ செட் நவ் ஐ அம் ஹேப்பி நவ் ஐ ஹவ் சீன் யூ ஐ அம் ஹேப்பி கிருஷ்ணரை பார்த்த பிறகு அவருக்கு முழு திருப்தி கிடைத்து எனக்கு சந்தோஷம் நிறைந்து விட்டது என்று கூறினார் ஐ செட் ஐ வாண்ட் தி கிங்டம் 
That was my foolishness. That was just like wanting broken glass. You want some broken glass? Well, I make, if I give you a, if I give you broken glass, will you be happy? No, of course, you don't want... But if I give you a beautiful jewel, you say, oh, oh thank you very much. Mm. So Dhruva Maharaj said, because now I have seen Krishna, I found a beautiful jewel. I was so stupid in the beginning, I just wanted broken glass. So, Krishna made him happy. So we have to come to the mode of goodness, you have to get free of the passion, rajas and tamas, it's going to give you a lot of trouble. Then, then from the mode of goodness then it's easy to transcend, it's easy to become Krishna conscious. But if you're all rajas and tamas, you'll never be peaceful. You'll never be happy. All right, any question? That means you agree with everything I've said, right? So you're going to wake up early tomorrow and you're going to chant Hare Krishna. And you're not going to watch any more Tamil movies. You're going to become a good devotee. You're going to chant Hare Krishna every day. And you're not going to fight with all these other people. Thank you so much for Maharaj's uh, class and uh, wonderful association. So I hope Maharaj will come again to give association and to deliver a message of Krishna. Right? So Maharaj, today <coughs> that our Mataji's uh, uh, sister passed away. Oh. So uh, 11 days ready. So mm -hmm. today she sponsored a piece also. Oh, very nice. Uh, Another, another one, the Yoga Mata, Mataji also sponsored the peace mm -hmm. for the, all the devotees. Oh. So today Sundar Krishna Prabhu also left the body. Who? Our Sundar Krishna Prabhu. Sundar Krishna? Yeah. Left, oh. Yesterday he left the he body. He was wearing the saffron dhoti. Ah, yes, Maharaj. He was at the temple a few days ago. Ah, yeah. In Islam, last Islam Yatra he came. Yeah. He was there at the temple a few days. Ah, yes, Maharaj. Yeah, Since, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yesterday she left the body, Maharaj. What happened? Uh, heart attack. Heart attack. Uh, today the criminal, uh, where did he leave? The, where was he? Where did, where? No, the funeral is in Penang. Where did he leave the body? Uh, in hospital, Maharaj. In the hospital? Oh, yes. Oh, they said he was yes. in the hospital. Yeah. So we chant both for them. For yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay, Hare Krishna. So, we are going to go to the hospital. 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 
just then Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Okay, well, I'm there. I'm there. That's the street language. Yeah? Maharaj is traveling. Our Gulag Nodam for that.